Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Lehanka, aka Kim Possible, the author of ChronicallySilly.com, a blog that takes a positive spin on life with lupus. And today, I would like to present to you my lupus swagger. I've got my coffee in me, I've got my prednisone flowing through my veins at some higher doses, and some Tylenol 3s in New Center right next to the bed in case I need them. So I am ready to take on Wednesday. And I can't think of a better way to start off my day than to get a little silly with all of my chronically silly friends and kick it off with a session on lupus swagger. So this is an instructional session on how you rock lupus swagger and you probably don't even know it every single day. So first, I'd like to give you the definition of swagger. And that's right, I said swagger, you've heard it. It's like the buzzword of the year. They're talking about it all over, so here we go. Swagger is defined by Urban Dictionary as one presents himself to the world in a way that is confident, comfortable, and cool. Swagger is shown from how the person handles a situation. It can also be shown in the person's attitude, their walk, fashion sense, etc. So naturally, everyone has a swagger. But us loopies and chronically ill folks, we've got our very own swagger that we rock day to day and most of you probably don't even know it. So today, I'm introducing you all to Swagger 101, how loopies are rocking their swagger day in and day out to stay fresh. So without further ado, you're rocking your lupus swagger when you need to wear your sunglasses indoors because your eyes are light sensitive or you suffer from migraines, something very common with loopies. I know my mom and I, I mean, she doesn't even have lupus, but we rock our sunglasses 24-7. I mean, we look fresh to death in them, of course, so that helps, but, you know, sometimes you got to do it. So there's your lupus swagger, you know. I mean, I take about 26 pills a day, so... I need a personal secretary to manage my medications and prescriptions. That's my lupus swagger. You see this bin? This is only every day. Check out the size of this bad boy. Packed to the brim with goods. If I didn't have this bin and someone helping me keep track of when I need to refill things or order them for my three month supplies or which ones I can't do that with and to get my new prescription of painkillers or narcotics, forget about it. I got someone helping me out. Thank you, Mama. Here's a shout out to you. That's my lupus swagger. And I'm sure all of you have a bucket that rivals this at home as well. All right, we're moving right along. You rocking your lupus swagger when you don't need blush. And you probably haven't ever purchased this since you've been diagnosed if you have the butterfly or mallow rash, which is very common in lupus. You'll notice I've got a very mild one going on today, but nonetheless, it is out and I can feel it burning under my cheeks. We've got a little butterfly. See how it goes in the shape right here? Just a little red. Not too bad today, but I can feel it still. You know, but it gives a healthy glow. Most people think you've either been out in the sun a little or you just got some nice rosy cheeks, so I mean, you're saving money, and you look like you've got some nice color and blush on 24-7, and that's definitely my lupus swagger. I mean, not having to put any makeup on and looking like I'm, you know, ready to go during the day, awesome. All right, next, you're rocking your lupus swagger when you need to wear a baseball cap. That's right, New York Mets, here's your shout out. Opening day is coming up. Let's kick off the season right. Or, you know, for winter, we've got, you know, my favorite, my Eskimo hat. And, you know, this might look ridiculous to some of you, but I lost all my hair back in October of this past year, and this was my savior this winter for my bald head. I have my wig sitting over in the corner, not so much for me. So, you know, I'm rocking the faux hawk, as we can all see. We're growing in nicely, not too patchy. The docs are pretty happy with it. And, uh... So, you know, needing a hat because you've got some bald patches or you're trying to cover it up, you know, you can get pretty stylish and funky with it. And, you know, that's my lupus swagger. I'm sure you guys have had some problems with hair loss along the way during some flares and whatnot. One thing I did learn, you know, you want to make sure that you tell your doctor because I waited like a week before I let them know because I had an appointment coming up. They weren't too thrilled with me, so my mistake. You know, and, you know, the cool thing about the baseball cap is, you know, how, like, celebs are always wearing them to try and, like, conceal their face. They're wearing them real low and stuff, you know. So you might even look like someone famous, you know. So that's always a bonus. You'll have paparazzi chasing you. And we're moving along. You're rocking your lupus swagger when 
You're wearing a tank top and shorts in 40 degree weather and a scarf, a fleece, and a long sleeve in 60 degree weather because our bodies do not regulate temperature. At least I know mine doesn't. It is like 67 in my house right now and I am layered and bundled trying to keep my Raynaud's at bay and it is still not happening. And then it's like 40 degrees and I'm sweating on my way to school and I've got the car window down. Lupus swagger. I mean... You're rocking your lupus swagger when you're showing up fashionably late to a party because you were doing your best trying to cover your rash a little bit, you know, make yourself look a little healthy if you're having a tough day, and find clothes that were stylish yet functional. That's lupus swagger, and that can be a challenge. I mean, sometimes my neck gets a little blotchy. I have so many spring scarves and winter scarves that I wear to just kind of accessorize, keep everything, you know, covered a bit more. Also works because I'm usually running cold, like I said before. Trouble regulating temperature, so a great fashion accessory. And I mean, who doesn't love to show up a little fashionably late and make an entrance at a party, right? All right, folks, you're rocking your lupus swagger if you're collecting disability payments before your 30th birthday. I myself am 23. I haven't worked in a couple years because of my lupus, and I'm trying to figure out what we're doing with that. But if you're collecting disability before 30, that's definitely your lupus swagger. Moving along, you're rocking your lupus swagger when you're on the VIP list at Club ER. That's what my father and I like to refer to the emergency room as. And when you're on a first name basis with the staff there. That's right. We walk in. I get a private room because I'm immunocompromised because of my cell sept. You know, everyone's like in the hallways waiting for rooms. We get right on in. Private room. You know, get some breathing treatment in me. Usually I end up going because my lungs are flaring and uh, having some trouble breathing. So if you're on the VIP list at Club ER, that's your lupus swagger. And, you know, if you're cool, you can show up with, like, your posse, too. I mean, I just go with my dad usually. But, I mean, there's people there, and they've got, like, their mom, their uncle, their second cousin twice removed. You know, they got, like, 15 people with them. Like, there's room for that in the hospital or the ER. But, I mean, that's their lupus swagger, I guess, if they've got it. So power to them. All right, folks, you're rocking your lupus swagger when you need your Ugg boots in the middle of the summer. I can recall a day this past summer where it was about 70 degrees and my toes were ray-nodding outside. I had a cute little sundress on sitting in the shade, rocking the Ugg boots. Do you look ridiculous? Probably. But can you make it fashionable? Absolutely. You could start a trend. I mean, you see people in Hollywood rocking them with shorts. Do I think they look ridiculous? Yes. But I mean, make it work. Rock it with confidence. That's your lupus swagger. All right, folks, having three different size jeans hanging up in your closet because of the weight loss and gain that happens between your medication and your lupus flares, that's your lupus swagger. I think right now I have pants that range from a size 4 or a small all the way up to a size 9 as I'm down a little bit on my weight after some recent lupus activity and what have you. So, always having some various sizes to go to. You know, you could have like a closet that three different people could use on a daily basis because of the sizes. Lupus, swagger. That's what I'm talking about. Moving right along. Not knowing which of your four autoimmune diseases is causing your pain on any given day and having your doctors look at you like you have four eyes, you know, three heads on your shoulders when you're explaining the signs and symptoms you're displaying. That's lupus swagger. How many people can do that on a daily basis? You know, these doctors study these diseases and they're still just as confused as you and I, which isn't always the greatest feeling in the world. But you know what? That's your lupus swagger and we're going to rock it out. You know, we're coming up to the end. We've got a couple more to get through. You're rocking your lupus swagger when you're never caught without a cup of uh, Starbucks coffee or 7-Eleven coffee, whichever you prefer. Maybe you're a Dunkin' person like myself in hand. I have already had two and a half cups, and when I say cups, I mean my mug, which is about this big by this big, more of like a vat of coffee to get my day going. And I know they say too much caffeine isn't good, but you know, I'd like them to try to wake up like we feel every day, you know, with our fatigue and not refreshed and, you know, try not to drink like four cups of coffee. So, I mean, that's just my morning, you know, it's like 9.39 in the morning and I've already had probably close to 24 to 30 ounces of it, you know, but I rock it with some Skin Plus, get my vitamins, my milk, so we're good to go. That's your lupus swagger. And lastly, one of my personal favorites, never leaving home without A, your sunblock, 
I got some SPF 60 here. Kid stuff smells like orange creamsicle. Delicious because I love that. I'm all about it. You know, but if I wear this, I've got to layer it up. You know, sometimes the SPF 100 is the way to go. You know, UVA, UVB, the whole, you know, nine yards. But again, we shouldn't really be in the sun. But as an extra precaution when you are outside in case you end up in the sun, that's the way to go. And, you know, of course, going along with that, my bag full of antibacterials. Being immunocompromised, as many of us are due to prednisone, Celsep, methotrexate, a lot of common um, off-label lupus drugs that are used for us. Um, so, you know, you've got the various sizes. We've got, you know, the medium pocket Purell, but then they've got, like, you know, the itty-bitty one. It's like the baby version. I don't really know why they make so many sizes, but, you know, I've got a whole bag full of them that I pretty much keep in my purse at all times. Not that I need that many, but I'm sure you can all relate, and then you find, like, the difference, you know, flavors, scents at Bath and Body Works. I'm all about it. All about it. All right, folks. I've hoped you learned a little bit more about your very own lupus swagger today. I'm sure many of you didn't even know you were rocking your lupus swagger, so that's kind of awesome. And um, feel free to share any comments. I'd love to hear them. If you've got another lupus swagger you'd like to share, you know, we're always up for it. So I'd love to hear them, and I hope you all have a fantastic Wednesday today. And a great day. And we're signing off. Have a great day, everyone.